All right, if you're using the plugin or if you have a second login session, I'm gonna show you how to use the order book. So what you do is you go over here to these little matchstick looking things and you click on order book. Then if you know the symbol, you can put it in. If you don't, just double click on it and go to like say CME and then NASDAQ. Double click on that, click on it, click add, close, and it'll have the, the thing in there. Now choose your account you wanna place the trade on and we can go in here and we can choose our contract quantity like one okay and then you can say set default and it'll stay as one if you don't hit set default it'll go back to zero after you place a trade now you may want to have other things open you may not even see these things open how do you do that right click on it click add remove columns and you can add on here and you can put you know open orders quantity uh, you can put stop market okay so you can do limit orders you can do whatever you want to but you can do like stop market orders and enable that you can click on the stop market section so if i go over here and put like stop market up here it'll have a buy stop market i can cancel it by clicking on the x and then or click cancel and close all positions that's one of your big advantages cancel and flatten all okay you can do buy market you can do sell market you can do reverse position okay now if i want to just go ahead and hop right in a trade i can either just put the order in and it'll fill me i can put the order in and it'll get me out okay or i can hit buy market and it'll fill me and i can hit oh i want to reverse it's going the other way and it'll flip it around and turn into a short. You'll notice it has short minus one positions right there. Okay. And then if I want to get out, I can hit cancel and flatten all. And it'll flatten out my positions. All right. So really simple, really easy to do. You can see your total P&L for the day right there. And you can see your account balance right here as well, including your commissions. So that's one thing that I think is important to note is your commissions won't show up in Ninja unless you set them up manually. So this lets you see your actual account balance, including your commissions in there. And of course you can also see that under your Apex Trader dashboard. It'll show you your account balance and it'll show you your auto liquidate threshold. But that is how to use the order book. And you can open up multiple order books for multiple instruments. Uh, again, you have to have the plugin if you're going to connect, uh, you have to enable plugin. So we have a separate video on that. Or you have to have a second login session. Now, I don't recommend using the plugin because it makes data go from Rhythmic to Ninja. So it's one more loop it has to go through. It makes things a little slower. So I recommend getting a second login session for that. And another thing I want you to notice about the order book is notice how my order book has orders all the way up and down. Like I can go way down here and see all the orders that are sitting in the market, all the women orders sitting in the market. How did I do that? Okay, because you may only see one. Well, what you do is go over to your membership page and you can go to data feed upgrades and get market depth all. Or if you just want CME, you can choose CME or NYMEX or COMEX or CBOT. So, you know, most people just choose the all option because it just includes everything. Um, and then you, to get that second login session, just click sign up form for second login session. That will allow you, when you log in to our trader, and let me go ahead and close down. That'll allow you when you log in to have this second section at the bottom filled in with your username and password and market data on and you can log into our trader pro and you can log into ninja or whatever other platform you're using okay so you simply subscribe to those they're cheap um, the subscriptions only last till the end of the month so it doesn't matter whether you subscribe on the first or the 25th it's gonna expire on the last day of the month and then you have to manually renew your data feed upgrades and manually renew your second login session for the next month. Why does it do that? Because we're built by data for the calendar month. So we're literally just passing it right on to you, okay? 
So we're not trying to make a whole lot on that or anything. It's just that literally the exchanges bill is by calendar month, not by months and days. Like not 30 days, but calendar month. So just remember that when you sign up for that, you'll have to re-sign up on the first to reactivate that second login session and data feed upgrade. Okay, but that's how you can log into both of them at the same time. It's how you can use the order book. It's how you can close positions. You know, you can do a lot of stuff with that. And that's how it works.